Motivational strategies level four, motivate others. Distinguished Toastmaster, Raman Preet Aur Bhadia. Raman, remain happy. Remain happy, Raman Preet Kaur Bhatia. We are not a team because we work together. We are a team because we trust, respect and care for each other. We motivate each other. And this motivation is the force that inspires human beings to progress. Toastmaster of the day, club president, fellow Toastmaster. A very warm and hearty good evening to all of you. Motivating your employees to perform at their best becomes a top priority. If you hope to keep your organization moving in the right direction. The ability to motivate others is a primary skill for any leader. And this skill makes the difference between a project that flows to completion and one that stalls throughout the process. Toastmasters, whatever be your profession, I feel that offering your time and expertise as a leader in any kind of volunteer organization makes you even more responsible towards team motivation. In my today's speech, I am sharing my experience being a past president of Marine Parade Toastmasters Club of Singapore. That experience of mine has made me realize that the challenge of leading in a volunteer organization is understanding that people you lead follow you because they chose to follow you. They chose to follow you. And that's a huge responsibility. On being nominated as club president, I was asked that what would be my mission, my vision for my club? I remain in Toastmasters because I have an obligation to give to others what was given to me. This was a quote which I read in one of the Toastmaster magazine. And it remained in my head. How? How is it possible without the presence of and support of a well-motivated exco? How can you be a good president? I had a goal and vision for my club to have higher level of new member retention, greater involvement from experienced members, and an increased likelihood that current members will reach education goals to provide open avenue for member suggestion and input. And for that, I needed my highly motivated team of people. This I'm talking about 2020-2021, which was primarily the start of COVID, the start of online meeting. I tried to identify each member's hope for that EXCO role and what motivated him or her to join the EXCO. I paid close attention to each member's non-verbal communication. And it was then we made a blueprint of our schedule for that crucial COVID year. We formed a committee of our two vice president edu education and our immediate past president. And we came up with this beautiful and innovative concept of speech coaching clinic. Wasn't that innovative? And the primary idea for this clinic was one of my VP education. I listened to her. I guided her because I know that identifying the, and the initial motivation is a good place to begin learning, which will keep them motivated throughout the project. And I understood her need for recognition. Recognition for what she was contributing to the club. We opened our discussion forum to include the suggestions and inputs of members of our club as well as the core team. 
because I was the team leader and I knew that what motivates others to accomplish a task by making them belong to that project, by promoting the growth of the individuals. And when that team was formed, the identity speed coaching clinic project gave an affiliation to our group. It gave a motivation booster to the team and automatically it developed a rapport among the members and contributed towards a larger commitment. The same applied to my exco team and my members. My VPPR was an enthusiastic social media person. He also wanted recognition. So I made sure to share and reshare and reshare his post and to encourage members to like and comment on those posts. Because with this, he felt acknowledged for his work. My treasurer was already a finance professional. So I knew that he was a self-motivated person as far as the numbers and figures are concerned. My SAA and VP membership were people-centric persons. I understood this and I assigned tasks to them accordingly. As a leader, I at that time, I always believed in complete transparency in my team, but at the same time, open to suggestions and feedback. And that is what kept the team motivated throughout the session, throughout the term. As a team leader, I recognized my strengths. I tried to develop my repo with my members and my exco team, cultivating appropriate relationships with my team, started motivating them. The conclusion. What an apt quote by Henry Ford, which sums up this entire motivation process and a successful motivated team. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. And working together is success. That is what motivating a team really means. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster Pate.